These new bots can actually talk to each other, mm -hmm. as I understand it. Tell us about them. So the, uh, the, the two new robots, the, the Roomba S9 and the, the BravaJet M6, are designed not just to raise the bar on, on vacuuming and mopping, but also to collaborate uh, as a first step in a home where your devices are actually working together to a better result. So the, the S9, the, the, the new vacuum, uh, is, is, a, is a beast. It is 40 times more powerful. It goes into c corners very aggressively to get all of the dirt. And um, it's designed so that it can actually pick up allergens and pollens, trap them, so 99% of everything that's picked up is captured. Uh, and then the, the uh, BravaJet M6, well, that's our new mopping robot. And both of these robots build maps so they understand what the kitchen is they understand what the living room is and for the brava jet m6 that's really important because different rooms may have different surfaces and you want to use maybe dry mopping uh, damp mopping or wet mopping depending on uh, what type of, of flooring it is but then this collaboration happens you know imagine your mud room which can have just a lot of caked in dirt and mud and you want to vacuum that up right. first before you vacuum. I'm sorry, before you mop. Now, Roomba has obviously a fervent following, but you also have folks out there who say, you know, these just don't work for my space. Shares did drop after you reported first quarter results on a sort of softer second quarter outlook. What's your response to some of the skepticism out there? So we've always had people who didn't yet understand or, or, or this was a too good to be true. Uh, today, 25% of all money spent on vacuum cleaners is now spent on robot vacuum cleaners. And for the second year in the, in the row, uh, the Roomba was the number one selling vacuum cleaner in America. And so this is a real disruption and changing of, of how people uh, are going to care for their home. And, and the, um, now we're extending from vacuuming into mopping. And later this year, we'll be mowing your lawn, too. Now, Asia is a big part of your business. As I understand it, 20% of your sales come from China. How is the trade war affecting you? So the uh, Asia is about 20% of our sales, Japan being the largest. The, um, uh, but the trade war is more impactful um, because of the tariffs. Um, we, our products are subject to 25% tariffs. And despite the fact that the consumer robot industry uh, grew last year 35%. These increases in price, which are reflected um, in increased prices of our products, certainly ha are having a, a slowdown impact on that meteoric growth in the marketplace.